Hi everyone, Kelt here. The New York Post says eco-warrior Prince Harry flies private jet home from polo match. They're pointing out that Harry has yet again contradicted himself after lecturing the world on climate change and he's taken a private jet home from his charity polo event in Aspen last week. It was a two-hour flight and he could have just taken an economy flight for that length of time. Royal author Tom Quinn told The Sun that it appeared to be enormously hypocritical given all his talk about climate change. I have my own opinions regarding this subject, but was emailed a suggestion of looking into Harry's carbon footprint. I don't know how accurate these carbon footprint apps are, but just for fun, I put in Harry's name to see what would come up. Well, I basically put in his name and filled in the answers that I thought were accurate for his situation. Where I didn't know the answer to the question, I just put don't know. And other times I sort of guessed some of them according to what we know about his life in Montecito. I think it was fairly accurate about his house and living conditions and his method of travel, because I think we we tend to know that. And as I said, it was just for fun, but take a look. I also did my own to compare. Here we are. So I'm on the Climate Hero app and... I'm just going to do Harry's test for his carbon footprint. So start the test. Start test now. First name. Harry Windsor. Ooh, I would say male. Start the test. Okay, this is about his home, so okay, let's go. How large is your home? Five plus bedrooms. What kind of residence? Well, they don't have mansions, so it's not really a farmhouse. Um Single family detached house. Should we put farmhouse because it's big? In which decade was your house built? 2003, I think. What heating source does your building use? I think they've probably got a combination. They've got an open fire. Firewood, biomass, would they have? Natural gas? I'll put don't know. Or a combination, I suppose I could have put a combination. Does your home have air conditioning? I would say yes. Does the building have its own electricity generating system? Solar panels on the roof. I've not seen them. I think they would have told us if they had. Does your household use use fossil free electricity? I don't know. Um, actually, I think no. Are you actively trying to reduce your electricity consumption? Well, Harry is, because he always switches off lights, but that's the limit of it. It still didn't stop him buying a house that size. And Megan wouldn't be. But anyway, we're doing Harry. What would you say? Should we put yes? Should we give him that one? Okay. How many adults, 18 or over, live in your household? Two, but we don't know. There could be more. There could be... Doria, there could be Marcus Anderson, we're not sure, but we'll put two. How many children? Again, we're sort of, you know, I'm sort of leaning towards A, but we're I think I ought to put two. Um, yeah. How many pets live in your household? I think they've got two, two dogs. There could be more. They Don't forget they've got their hens, their chickens, but then they're outside. So we'll put two pets. Do you have a second property? Oh, yes, they do. And how large is your second property? Um, I think it's got more than five bedrooms, hasn't it? Frogmore Cottage. How many adults are sharing the property? Well, when Eugenie, Eugenie and Jack are there, it's two adults, if they're there. Could be no one there. Does the property have its own electricity generating system? I don't think so. 
does your property have environmentally friendly electricity? No, I don't think anywhere around there does. Great job, Harry Windsor. You have finished part one of three. Next, we've got a few questions about your travelling habits. That will be good. OK, let's go. How many flights do you take a year? Wow, consider round trips. As this question concerns personal travel, don't include business trips. Well, that's the thing. Everything they do is supposed to be business, isn't it? And then when they, they choose it to be not business, it's not business, is it? Let's just include the lot, yeah? Domestic flights or flights to a neighbouring country. Short haul. Two hour flights. Mm, five to ten a year? Three to five? More than ten a year. I'm not sure on this one. Um, flights to a neighbouring country. Not that many in a year, but definitely domestic flights. We don't know, do we? We don't know how many times. I think the past couple of years he's done more than 10, so. Flights to other parts of your continent, medium haul, two to six hours. So shall we just sort of give him three to five trips a year? I would say five to 10. because he's, it's obviously there and back. Let's go for that. Intercontinental or transcontinental flights. He probably does a couple of those a year, doesn't he? Um, but then what about the jets going all over the place? Three to five or five to 10? Or more than 10? I think there was that year where he did do many flights in a very short space of time. He thinks we forget. Um, if you think about him coming to London and then going back, that's two flights. I would say five to ten a year, between three and five or five to ten. If you, if you disagree with this, let me know in the comments and we'll do another one. How many cars does your household own or lease? Um, They probably have two cars at least. Some questions about your car. What kind of engine? We'll just go for, for A. How many kilometers in a year? I don't know. Should we go for the halfway mark with this? Not knowing. We'll go for there, give him the benefit of this. When was your car built? I think he would be he would be in a new car most of the time. Size SUV. Are you part of a car sharing club? No, they're not. How often do you rent a car? We've done that one, haven't we? No. 10 20 days a year. 1 to 10 days a year. We'll we'll say that because he is off on a long break, isn't he? How many taxi trips a year? Well, he doesn't really go in a taxi, does he? But I suppose a chauffeur could be counted the same. What about taxis abroad? Yeah, 20 to 30? 10 to 20? 10 to 20. How often do you take a ferry? I've not seen him on a ferry. But then what about other people's yachts and things? Does that count? Um, We'll put naught. How often do you use public transport? Almost never. How often do you go by foot or bicycle? Well, they go for bike rides, but he doesn't use it to travel to places, does he? One to two days a week. I, would, I wouldn't even say that. I would say almost never. Does your household own or rent a motorbike? No. Moped or scooter? No, not that we know of. Motorboat? Not that we know of, but he does use other people's. Well done, Harry Windsor. You have now finished part two out of three. Next, we'll ask some questions about your consumption habits. OK. How often do you eat beef or lamb? Well, I was almost, I was going, I was going to click on never, almost never. And then I realised, I remembered that there were some friends that said that Harry, as soon as 
he can get away from his wife, he will eat a burger and have a beer, even though he's not supposed to. So depending on how many times he can sneak out, I would say one to two days a week, perhaps. How often do you eat a completely vegetarian meal? Um, probably most days, even though they do like their chicken, don't they? And they do eat fish. So what would you say? Two to three days a week, three to four. Let's give them three to four. Him. Do you consciously choose products that are seasonal? Um, would they or would they just eat what they want? I'm not sure on that one. Uh, I don't know. What should we put? Should we put no? Because they would eat what they want. Do you consciously choose products that are locally sourced? Sourced. Um, this means that you choose locally product produced. Food. Yes, because we, we know that they go for the local avocados and things. So do you grow your own food? Not that we know of. I'm sure we'll hear about it when they do. Not yet. Which statement best describes your attitude regarding food waste? Um, I think I'm going to have to go for B because I don't know their situation again. There's plastic use. I'll go for B because they say one thing and usually do another. So I'll go for that palm oil. I'm going to have to go for the middle one because we don't know. Shopping. I rarely shop for new things. I actually think this is true of Harry. So I'll give him A. We see him in his old clothes, don't we? Secondhand purchases. I don't know that they would buy anything secondhand. I'll click C. Giving away. Yes, they do give away things that they don't use. They. I would put the middle one for that one. Recycling. I guess they, they probably talk the talk, but maybe they don't always walk the walk. So we'll click on B. Do you offset any? Well, I think he would have told us if he's offset. The results are in, but first you get to take a guess at your footprint. So what do we put Harry down as? Should we guess him as being a consumer? Oh, right. He's actually a climate villain. The result is 34.3 tonnes. It says there are some things you're doing well. Do you want me to show you? Or should we just jump, jump straight to what you can improve? Let's go straight to what he can improve. OK, Harry Windsor, I bet you're now wondering what you can do to become a climate hero. Yes, show me how to reduce my footprint, says Harry. So it talks about switching to an environmentally friendly electricity contract. Again, we're not, I'm not sure on what their situation is regarding their electricity. And would he change or would he say, I'm not ready? He's probably not ready. Avoid long distance flying. And then it says, are you in? How can he? It's his whole life. No, I'll have to think about this one. Reduce your medium haul flights. I don't think he can do that. Avoid domestic flights. I don't think it says, no, that wouldn't work for me. Join a car sharing program. How can he, if he wants his privacy? No way can he have a car sharing um, program. No, that wouldn't work. Isn't it time you replaced your car, Harry Windsor? I think he would have done, wouldn't he? He likes those big guzzling vehicles. So environmentally friendly car when he's renting. Are you in? Yes. I mean, no, he doesn't. If he, if he was going to do it, he would have done it, wouldn't he? Same with this one. Would it work for you to use your bike or walk more? Can you see that happening? Eat less beef and lamb. Well, he's supposed to not eat it anyway. We've only heard that he, he likes to sneak the odd burger. So should we click yes for that? He's in. Eat more vegetarian meals. Yes, he's going to do that. 
Aim to eat seasonally. Yep, you will. Fight food waste. Prioritise products made of wood and bamboo. I think maybe that's Megan's area. That's it. If, if you think you've got better answers for those, just put it in the comments or let's do our own. I think Megan's would be interesting, wouldn't it? So let me have your thoughts and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Please subscribe. Ding my bell for more alerts for more videos. Like if you liked it and share. Bye.